welcome to or back to my channel. I am Nicole. I'm trying to get as many tarot and oracle decks reviews that done as possible. So I've gotten one done since I've been home from work. And the next one is interesting. When it came out, I was hesitant. I was like, this is different. It's like 90s. I was born in 95, so I'm definitely a 90s kid. And I was like, what should I do? Should I get this? Because there's not very good reviews on it. But I love mini decks. So what I thought was amazing was the retail price is only $12.95. And of course, I was going to get it for like $10. But months later, this was probably the very beginning of December. So I know it's been over a month. <laughs> I'd say it's been about six weeks since I bought this and I hadn't even opened it yet. But anyway, I came across it at a TJ Maxx for $6.99. And I was like, that's like 40% off. Let's get it. And I've just not had the chance. I haven't felt well. I can't stay focused. <laughs> so here it is. It's BuzzFeed. And they're, they're, there's a bunch of the little cards. I love them. It's called the BuzzFeed Oracle Cards. They're RP minis. And what I love about it is I can keep it in the box because the book is right here and the cards. Like, I have a box similar, but it's not sturdy like this. This is a sturdy box. So, I'm going to pull the book out and show you the book. It is wonderful. It's not hardback, but it is just adorable. So the contents are introduction, nostalgia, colors, environments, animals. I'm going to take it as these are the categories. So, <clears throat> five steps to becoming a master fortune teller. So after you get through all that, then it's like nostalgia. And here, I'll show you a page. So that is the first card that we see on the top of the deck. We have words, which I'm going to guess are the cards, and a description. So I'm just going to jump through here and tell you a few for nostalgia. Arcades, competitive, victory, success. Crazy patterns, lively, animated, eccentric. Dial up, slow, stagnant, lethargic. <laughs> okay, so we're going to like skip through some of the pages because apparently... That's a pretty big category. And then we go to colors. So we've got amethyst, intuition, trust your gut, instinctive, bubblegum, clingy, inseparable, attack, buzzfeed yellow, energetic, lively, spirited. We're just going to jump through like I said. Oh, here's one. Shadow, imitation, reflection, copy. Interesting. Okay, environments. And each one has a different color for the category or theme or whatever subject. Aurora Borealis. I've had a heart, I've had COVID twice that I know of. And each time, well, I know the first time. So, like the very first time I had issues many months later. Well, here it is over a year later and I'm still having the issue. So, <laughs> I can't pronounce stuff. That's what I was trying to say. Okay. Uh, caverns, hidden, private, undisclosed, clouds, shift, transform, adapt. Galaxy, bring together, group, assemble. Mirage, illusion, mystery, misconception. We have moved on to animals. Um, alpaca, gentle, soft, easy. I thought that said bacon. Baboon, adapt, accommodate, flexible. I'm just going to jump around here. Uh, penguin. Order, uniform, systematic, toad, worry, doubt, apprehension, unicorn, magic, unique, rare. And that is all of the categories. Love the little book. It's actually very sturdy. So now we're going to go into the cards. So unfortunately, that took a while to get open. <laughs> it was not easy. So here they are. Oh, I have only seen... See, I was confused. I'm like, that's one of the cards? Okay, so that's the category, I'm guessing. And then that's the card. So that's the alligator. 
and it doesn't have numbers on it like I'm used to, which is unusual. I'm about to open this, but I wanted to say, if you were born in the 80s and 90s, you definitely should buy this because, I mean, it's cheap. You have no reason to not buy it. Like, it's between 7 and $10. Well, what was it, 13 at the most? And that's if you find it, like, at a metaphysical shop or something, I'm sure. So, anyway, these are great addition to a collection. And even if you're not really getting anything out of it, you can have fun with them. Pull them out play with your kids with them, you know? Show them what your childhood was like. This can be fun. Let's open them. I'm no longer opening decks on camera or boxes. Like, I'm going to go ahead and take the plastic off because it takes way too much time. I'm trying to make the videos as quick as possible so you guys will watch them. But I will give you a time from now on. And my old videos, I'll go through them and I will put timestamps so you guys can scroll through and get to where you need to be, okay? That way, not everyone has the time to do that. I'm very aware of that. So, we have the different categories. And if you look, see on the sides right here, you see the different category colors. So, before we get into this, I wanted to explain something to you. I want to schedule a live with you guys. I would love to do this and you guys tell me what you prefer. Do you want me to, you know, like... Uh, I guess you would say freestyle the videos or do you want me to script it so it's correct so I'm not jumping around because my ADHD and then I'm not worried about all the editing and the time that that takes and the mis like I said mistakes of course and it'll take not as much time you know it'll be quicker so I want to know what you guys want out of this channel I would love to do contests but no one ever enters them so, I mean, I, I really am planning to get this going. I finally decided to sign up with an online doctor to get back on my ADHD meds. And I'm telling you, it'll be totally different. You're going to love it. You're going to love me. You will love me. It won't be so hard to deal with me. So, let's start back on the cards. I want you to see this. It looks awesome. I went ahead and separated them. Here is nostalgia. Here's colors, animals. And environments so I'm gonna show you a few in the nostalgia deck first I just grabbed a few in the deck that were some of my favorites we used to hang out at the mall that was our thing love snap bracelets I can't believe I found one at work the other day I it was just sitting out and I touched it cuz I didn't know what it was and it snapped and scared me scratch and stiff Snickers passing notes Did I say Snickers stickers <laughs> fortune tellers you fold this paper up and you like turn this uh flap up here it this perp that dark purple and the light purple that's one flap and it'll say something and then you might open this flap over here and then mood rings so we're going to go on to colors but i wanted to state something that i thought was odd not having numbers that's odd but the three dots at the top see in the right hand corner it's dark. There you go. They all have them. I don't understand that. That's kind of pointless. So, this one's active online green. <laughs> I'm going to show you a few of them real quick. I didn't feel like any of this said, hey, I'm the 90s. But, Verified Blue, BuzzFeed Yellow. Sorry. I can't get a hold of it. Confetti Rainbow. And corporate blue. I oh, don't even remember grabbing that one. Okay, on to animals. Like I stated before, other than the artwork maybe, I don't feel like any of this is like screaming 90s to me. Except for the nostalgia. That's it. I'm not sure why it's like that. We're about to look at environment and see if it's any different. But here are the few that i seen and just pulled out. Flamingo. Cats. Alligator and Ant Eater. Once again, not screaming 90s, but Mirage, Aurora Borealis, Snowstorm, and Waterfall. I think the artwork is definitely 90s, though. Here is the conclusion. I thought it was a cute deck. I love the 90s. I miss it. I wish the 90s never went away. I think it was the best ever because you've got the relaxation, not having to worry, simplicity, I guess you would say. But you have some modern 
no, technology. You didn't, you started with it. You started in the 90s and then you go up. But anyway, so I love that about it. I love that it's small. I love that it was cheap. But what I don't like is when I tried to get them out, I had a hard time. Remember, they're no longer in the plastic wrap. So it may not be very easy to get them in and out of this, you know? I just don't see it being easy. Um, it's easy just to take with me, though. So what did I think about the different categories? I think that that's the point of the reading. I didn't really look at that part of the book, unfortunately. But I think, or I think maybe I should look. Oh, <laughs> um, but yeah, so you know how when you do a reading, you can do like past, present, and future, and or you can have, okay, this is the current, this is the current's feelings, this is um, what they should do, and this is the outcome, or whatever kind of reading you're doing, a spread, sorry. Well, I think with this one, you would probably do, draw one or two of each, and then you've got like a storyline, you know? So, I did think it was odd that all of them except for Nostalgia were like, the artwork was 90s, but the rest of it, that like the topics weren't 90s to me. So, I hated that that was taken, but I do think that not everything can be 90s. I guess. I don't know. I think they could have drawn something like, I don't know, um, so colors. Well, I guess they kind of did. That's what they were doing. They are trying to pick regular things and draw like a 90s theme for it. But I just wasn't feeling that. I just felt like only the artwork was, the way they were drawing it. You know, like this picture, totally 90s. So anyway, I think it's, it, it's fun. But I'm not sure if you're going to get any real a real reading from it. I will try to do one. I thought about going and doing one so we could see. Should we do that? I'll go ahead and do it. So after pulling the cards back out of the box, I thought, wow, this wasn't that hard to get out. And I love how the cards don't stick. They don't stick. They stay in their own little categories. Like, they don't stick. Now, they're, they're paper. I mean, they're... Now, I do have a deck that's worse than this. <laughs> I Oh, that's not even part of the stack. I was actually supposed to contact them and ask them for new cards and stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys in one of my other videos. I'm not going to make a video on that probably yet. I'm going to see if they'll, you know, replace what they're supposed to replace. So, there was only one thing that wasn't messed up. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these and do... Well, I guess I want to put them in different categories and pull one out of each. So these are my cards. And now we're going to look them up and put it all together. First card was talking about being cautious, I guess. And then there was the lake. It was about having your limits. And it was also about um, being spiritual and energetic. Which, I guess that does make a lot of sense for me. You know, I I do have my limits. Even though I'm a great person, I do have my limits. And I do need to be cautious and beware of those people. You know, because that does happen to us. Us nice people. So, anyway, yeah, there's not a lot to take from it. There's like three words for the description for each card. So, you take what you need out of it. Anyway, this was fun. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one.